This video is about shopping in Carbon Market. We are on the way now to Carbon Market. You can see it up ahead. I'm here with Susan. I need some potatoes for my family. So I need to go here because it's cheap. A lot cheap than the one in the Vitos Market. And I usually buy in bulk. And the best day to go to the Carbon Market is Sunday. So, I'm taking you here to the tour in Carbon Market. We're here with Susan and little Josie. It's not so crowded. I mean, with um, traffic-wise, it's not so crowded during this time. But there are still people that sells in the market that's when all the big bulk of supplies come during Sundays mostly although there are during weekdays but a lot of that comes on Sundays whoa windy So you got the cart for hire when you have a lot of stuff to buy you can hire a cart towards your vehicle most of the stalls are closed but like I said there are a lot open as well a lot is closed a lot is open and you know that carbon market is ongoing renovation right now the city is trying to clean up the market so you can see new buildings that's the potatoes kilang sak kilo aning patatas do 180 lang 180 the mahal eh it's so expensive expensive than SNR so we go further. So you can see there that's the construction of Mega Wide, the ongoing cleaning up of Carbon Market. vegetable area I'm here with little Josie because he wants to explore what's carbon market. Fruit sections. So there's this is the heart now of the market. So you can see that's the new building being built by the city government. They are trying to clean up the market. Ah. Oh. 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 Oh.
Matos ako dito saan mga taon na maday. I was looking at those one selling potatoes, but I'll ask here how much. Pilang kilos patatas, madam. Ha? Sixty-five. Lagi sakto juga. Susan was correct. It was sixty-five. And you know, he heard the first one that we asked, one eighty. So I'll have, I'll buy some. Pagaitang plastic, madam. So I had nine point four kilos of um, tomato, oh uh, potato, and then you can see that this it's better to do your marketing here in carbon because like this one gingers 60 pesos a kilo this is 70 pesos a kilo for the green chilies and the tomatoes is 40 pesos a kilo you can really get good prices butang basket basket oh ato lang hapiton lai amo lang lai dili nya hapiton na mo bato pa miluyo toyo pa man me ha so there you go. Mubalin siya mo dito dong sa bago. Bagong building. I was asking the lady here that's selling these vegetables if they're moving to the new interim building. Kana mang kana man yung pabalhinan diha mam no. Luyo. Balik na ni. In the new building that the city is created for cleaning up of carbon market, but she said that depends on the rent. Depends sa renta dito, madam. Di kung ba mahal ka ayo. So it depends on the rent if she's gonna move because you know, as she don't want to move, that her sales will just go to the rent. Amo na na balikon ga kay mapay sa mga isda. Dito sa unahan? Asa naman ron na pita? Diri ko na saan ang isda? Daon ko ni Diri. Sige, sige, sige. Diri na tagi. Sige ma'am. Amo na ng balikon ma'am. So this is now the Bagsakan Center of Carbon. Susan, what's up, Moni? Moni, katong farmers market. So this is also what's new here in Carbon Market is the food market that is geared up for nighttime here in you know like Sukbu Mercado food park they have their own food park here in Carbon Market but they're still setting up I'll do a video separately about that we'll just continue on to what we're doing so here is the interim building So this is the interim building of Carbon Market. You can see Carbon Market has been established since 1909. And this is the government's way of cleaning up Carbon Market. I will give you a tour about this later on. So let's go and find our stuff first and I'll just go back to do the tour around. section by section but as of the moment we're just passing through the asang is daan ga unahan pa i was asking the girl where is the fish area We 
we are doing the traditional carbon market shopping. We're not do entering buildings yet. We go around stalls by stalls on the side street. So you can see it's really getting cleaner. Saging ah. Pilang kilo ana dong? Cinco. Bain cinco? Kamahal man. It's more expensive than pitos. So that's the way to Sitio Bato Ermita. Okay. Okay. So the fish area is further here. Used to be here. There are also a lot of fish vendors around here. But you can see they are close because it's Sunday. So we go to the small sidewalk vendors. That's the ice cream vendor. La Josie is looking at the ice cream. <laughs> so some someone's doing bingo. So it won't be very scary for you in the future to go around carbon market because the government is trying its best our local government of Cebu City is trying its best to clean up the market So this are the area. Welcome to Barangay Ermita. This is usually where the fish vendors are. I wonder if they are here today. Because that's the Freedom Park. Carbon Market. That's also... Ati. Ati. Para mama. Kanan no. Freedom Market, Freedom Park is now under renovation. Now here are the sidewalk vendors. There you go, you can see it up ahead. Because Carbon Market is also synonymous to Cebu City as like Santo Nino. Since it's very old, a very old market, 1909. So people, when they went to Cebu, they know the big Carbon Market that's existing here is where they find the trade of different kinds of food and stuff so these are the dried fish section all the dried fish 100 pesos per kilo 
Sorry, Tati. Asa mas mama? Oh! We lost Susan. Ala mama. Ni palit ni buwad. Aw. Yan na. We go back because Susan is buying some dried fish. Dried fish. This is what Susan wanted to expand carrying dried fish and vegetables because of the moment the capital is rolling on the cooked food in which she needs a plenty up to 12 or 13 dishes a day to sell. Now, so there's little Josie with us. First time to be in carbon. First, ni ano? First time pa ni mo directi. Karon ba kakarino? Liki kuyug dring mami karon. Di ka mawa. Pilang kilo ga? That's two eighty per kilo for the dried fish of Susan. That's what her family loves. And like I said, I'm not so keen on dried fish so much. So maybe sometimes, once in a blue moon, I would rather have vegetable because that's what we've been fed all the time during my younger days. My parents is poor, so we are fed more on vegetables because we cannot afford all this. Vegetable is cheaper than fish, so we have eggs vegetables and sometimes dried fish Nigunit ni mami dong Gunit mami dong So continuing on our market here in market shopping in Carbon So there's an egg vendor Even slippers, fruits. So when they will be on the new building, these will be all clean up. And the government promised that they will be given fair rental fees on the new building. <laughs> Pilang kilo sa sayuti, madam? Pilang buok na. Pilang buok na. Pilang na. Pilang na. Pilang na. Pilang na. Pilang na. Pilang na. So, she's selling the sayuti in 10 pesos each. Idri, is that sa Tarjasan? So this is the fish area of Carbon. Natuloy ka oh. So it's very noisy so I have to keep on talking. So you can see there are the, all the ordinary fish and uh, also they got the big ones. The expensive fish. There's the tuna. There's milk fish. There's a uh, lime fish. I call this barungoy. 
bangus The Little Octopus The Clams Again, Mactuna, Mackerel So, dry, tuloy Pila tuloy, dry Si Quinta, man, is for inter, man, ito So, this is like the four months fish This is, we call this the tuloy Sardines Okay, basic Susan wants to look up the further they are the prices is cheaper not the one on the front oh, 80 pesos per kilo for the flying fish I call that the flying fish one sixty for that one. Look at the big bangus. Can I get that hand? Wow. Ikaw rag agad agad ramin ni mo. Hindi ito tapis. Pila ang imo? Oh, tikab. Tikab. So you can see inside the flower vendors are already housed in there because the Freedom Park has been transferred. That's peanuts, sliced peanuts. Wow. Pila kilo na madam? 200 pesos per kilo for this bangus. This is our national fish, the milk fish. Because I will uh, have a look around here in the flower area. What's that? The dog. Oh, department store. Oh, department store. The ID. Oh, mo. Ready na ko skilly di mo ka. So, di ready na ko skilly di na ko mo so ja tanaw ra ko ka. So this is Nobo Department Store. So you can see a lot of people. This is like cheap items for sale. I will. See, I'm gawas ako ganon. Bat ako gisda dong. Thank you, dudong ha. So I'll just give you a glimpse of what's inside. I thought it was the flower vendors of Freedom Park because they have been kicked out of there. They are renovating in there. Yeah, 200 ang kilo. So we're back here to the fish market. So the whole area here, you can see, there are just vendors of fish and meat. So Susan is looking at different kind of fish again. This is called silay. Silay ya po na siya inana. Ah, katambak. Piros or katambak. And I was amazed by the sales girl because she got blue hair. Asa na ron ang mga buwak dong? Interim na? Dali na sa amin, the wife. Ah. 
So I was asking him, where is the flowers? And he said it's already inside the interim building. So that will cost for another video to tour around the interim building. When you buy here, they also scale up the fish for you to save you doing it. So this is how they sell it here. They scale it. They even clean up the fish for you. You know the entrails. So you only have the after you pay the whole thing, you can ask them to take out the entrails for you. Oh, see like that. Take out the gills and entrail. Mika. Because Susan was shocked when she went to the Pitos market that the price is so high, she won't be able to sell it. Oh my god, she said that this fish is like this is 240 here or 220, and but in Pit Os Market it's already 340. So over here, they're chopping pork. Here they got chicken heads and chicken intestine. What is this? Ah, Paris. Ah, Paris. Ang, ang ulo, sir. 40 pesos per kilo for the chicken heads and the intestine and tinaiga 100 for the intestine so many ready naman din ng red horse on na uy It's just very noisy here. You can hear in the background all the singing. So there Susan is buying um, chopped chicken for this dish called curried chicken bits. Halang halang, you know, where they put chilies and curry. Okay, mawag tang ka ha, kuyo. Kunit na ko. The other side is pork. You can see that oh, it's so stinky here, but you can see that there is a lot of cleaning up done by the local government. That's the new, the Freedom Park has been cleared out to have a better, safer, and cleaner building for the bedors and the buyers itself. So I told Susan that we will 
that's the new interim building. I will be featuring that later on. That's a Tomoisan. Over here, this is another section that we have to go through. So it seems like it's gonna rain soon. Someone's having their pedicure right on the road. So this is just like a mixture of different stuff to sell. Mupalit ko tong prats sa ice gaga katong four by ten aw four by sa ice four by ten na ka. Kopi laga. Tambok na siya. Dili na tagas. Dili tagas tambok para sa kuan ba? Pila? Pila? Sinabi. Mora per sensiyon. Adira na sa kuga. Kopi ba yung tiro niya? Tanda raga. Set. Aga kung tudung drama ng paluku. Di para sudlan na nakuha ko ng kuan ga kanang saat. I frozen ba? So that's where I separate. Karni ako yung separate separate daan ready to cook ba? Oh, anak na lang. When I separate, I buy the milk, the meat by bulk. You know the chicken breast in the grocery, and then I will. Just do the plastic freezers. Tanati, tanati, tanati. Plastic freezers and freeze them by portion. So these are all the live chickens. Agay. Hui, ayo, ayo. Mask, clothes, hair clips. Ang palit na na na. Pipon o kuan ba? Patanawan ang kusto ni Roy! So, these are the different shrimp paste. So, it's not yet so comfortable here because everyone is like clamped in together, most of the vendors, because of the clearing of Freedom Park and clearing of the near the interim building. Gunit, gunit, mami ha. So it started to rain now. Oh my god, I think the one that we're gonna go to to return some of these items that we have here. San Sira, kana man, kana na no left turn ng building. Hmm, kana ba? Ano sana? Diha mak, kana ang yellow ang mga roll up. Balik pa kagutan, ako na lai daan ako, mapalit pa kagutan. So they're all, see, it's all scattered everywhere during Sundays. Diha, asa kapalit diha dery. Dari lang misan. Ada tak kayak uan langga. 
Asunod lang ta mama bi kay madiaan niya ta. So these are the vegetable vendors. Okra 40. Actually these are the actual ma farmers that's direct selling directly their crops because this is Sunday today they are not kicked out of the way San mensing ipa lagi ba batong to eh pila iha 35 out 35 mm 35 per kilo for the long beans pila ka kilo duha pwede sa tulo nga ito lang ipasakay o kariton ako lang dahil lagyan ng galon I'll just bring the galon para duha mo pa balance pila pipino tulo 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 ha lang ko na na tulo tulo One hundred na lang. Ilan ni? Oh, sinto sinto na lang na. Nakarang magtuyod siya. For cucumber, this. Okay. Ako pa dugay dugay na nakuwisit. Unsay tagjis ang kilo? Titino. So cucumber there because they're not the perfect cucumber at ten pesos per kilo. Ala ni mga unta ro diha nalimot ko. Ka unta o diha pagkaon tapan. Palit pwede mo kaon diha. 10 pesos per kilo for the pipino. I usually if I get them ripe, um I just uh juice them. For the cucumber is called pipino here in the Philippines. And this is very interesting to see how the market life is here in the Philippines. Sometimes I don't buy the, the mix already mixed vegetables already sliced because sometimes they just mix up the old vegetables. With a new one. Jadi jadi langgak. So we stop here on the bakery because it's still raining outside. So we just have a snack here. You can see the people are also stopping here to have a snack and also waiting for the rain to subside. Well, the sun's up now, but still raining. It'll be all right soon. Ah, oh, come here, Miguel. So these are our Filipino Filipino bread. Six pesos ang sani. Oh. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Oh. Kani asay sa ni. Of those na twenty size. Hmm. Bigi kani rekwa yaya ko ang. Pilay ko ang sa 50. 96, 14, ha? 28. Ang ako ang mikwa, Ibi. So while we are here waiting for Susan to come back, buying vegetables, we are sitting down on a shop here selling different items for school, for phones, phone cover, Lighter, shaver, they're selling it retail. 
Pila. 25. Uy! Mauro rin. 33 dito. Oh, nakapalit ka? Oo. Oo. Lagi, ma'am. So, there you go. Our Carbon Market experience here in Carbon Market, Cebu City. So, this is very... An interesting, a very interesting to see the harvest of the bean sprouts from the mongo beans. There, that's from the mongo beans. They wash it in water and then take out the sprouts. So these are the bean sprouts, mongo bean sprouts, that a lot of people like to have in their dishes. When it's new, they can last up to three days inside the fridge. So you need to cook it ASAP. Pilang kilo anerga? Forty pesos per kilo. I know it doubles or three times, triple up in the grocery because I usually had bean sprout for making spring rolls for old beef sometimes when he fancies it. So we are here now on the fruit and veg section again. Susan is just picking up the potatoes that we bought earlier. And we're looking for a cheaper eggplant. So we found it now. There's 20 pesos per kilo over there. So we will be buying some of these. The trouble is carrying it around because you cannot just park near anywhere. But to park somewhere and lugging it around is such a problem. So you can see here, this is just like um, the rejects that they are still recycling for like a mixed vegetable mix that they are also selling per kilo. Tomatoes on the other side, only 50. So you have to go around and and look for the best price. Especially if you buy a bit more, they give you a better price. <laughs> Cauliflower. Oh, 